So with any luck in editing, I'll be able to zoom in on that boat over there. But this scene that I'm shooting right now, this literally could be 40 years ago. With the exception of the new dock they're putting in, or the new ramp. And it hasn't changed. And that boat right there could be me. Because <laughs> that's what I did in the summers. Or that a whaler over there. <laughs> it's good to see that Boston whalers are still the preferred mode of transportation for teenagers in the summer here. That's great. Gracie and I went and looked at a free boat, believe it or not, a 34 foot Wellcraft twin screw over there in Chelsea. And uh, but what was interesting about it is it actually was. I'm 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 50 50 at this point actually believe it or not um, I'll throw some pictures of it up here <clears throat> and it needs work as you might guess otherwise it wouldn't be a free boat but it's got uh, twin 7.4 liter Merc cruisers in it that's a good spot where oh yeah absolutely that's that's choice real estate right there choice um, so I'm going to see how much it's going to cost to haul it down here. It's up on blocks, basically, in uh, in a marina, you know, yard, right? And uh, <clears throat> I swear, I think one of the engines actually could power on, and it could probably make it down here. Because um, I mean, I'm not going to go anything over like 15 knots anyway, right? But, um, yeah, it's high tide right now. I tell you, the complexion of Hingham when it's high tide is gorgeous. Um... But I see cranes, and so therefore I want to go check it out. Um, but yeah, the boat is very interesting. But while we were there, we saw like, I think it was either a 15, maybe a 17 foot whaler. And it was on a trailer and it was all dirty. And um, the engine didn't even have like the, you know, didn't, it was black, so I assume it's a Mercury, but it was didn't even say Mercury on it. It didn't have anything on it. We cannot go through this, where are you going? No, but we can, well, actually, if you want, we can go up and over on the sidewalk and then go check it out and sip, hang out by the Iron Horse like we were last time. That's just, I mean, that's gonna be <laughs> spectacular. Yeah, I wanna get a look at the ramp somehow. Um, yeah, let's walk up this way. Anyway, so there was this whaler there and I took down the MS numbers. If you're a boat person in this part of the world, you know what that means. Um, depending upon the state you have your boat registered at and the size of the boat. Larger boats don't have this displayed on the side of it, but uh, smaller boats uh, have MS for Massachusetts, believe it or not, versus MA. But I have the two letters that abbreviate the state and then basically a registration number. It's effectively the license plate for a boat. Anyway, so I got that nah, number off the side of the whaler that's just sitting there. Cause I mean, you know, it, it's July and the weather is quite frankly perfect. And to have your Boston whaler sitting on a trailer in a lot and not using it over the summer here, uh, there's either, you, you simply can't afford to do it um, because it's not like there's a shortage of people to be able to fix the motor. And unless there's a giant hole on the port side of it, only because the way it was parked, all we saw was the starboard side then that boat should be in the water, especially on a day like today. The nice thing is, is that for those of you that don't love the climate that I love, which of course is hot and humid, the minute you get out on the water, man, the humidity effectively goes away. And if you want to get cooler, then all you do is you just do this with the throttle. <laughs> and the faster you go, the cooler it is. So this is going to be absolutely awesome. Um, but right now, of course, uh, there's no ramp. And so that would make, that would make boating very different than my original experience. Because I love coming down to hang them, just throwing the boat in the water and cruising around. And, uh, can't do that right now. My dad tells me that this project that they're working on apparently is stalled like two or three times. The infamous, oh, it's COVID, or oh, we run out of money, or I'm sure it's a combination of both of those, actually. But they're doing a darn good job on this. Well, you got to remember, here's the other thing, too, right? So this, like, walkway, this 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 dock, they're, they're installing this so it'll last at least 50 years. 
Um, so I can appreciate the fact that they're like, well, let's do this right, let's do it once. Um, so that's, that's kind of cool. And I assume, I'm sure they got some grant money, but I'm pretty confident that the majority of the cost of this was shouldered by Hingham, the, the city of Hingham and therefore Hingham taxes and therefore part of the taxes or a portion of that was paid for by my parents. And um, so because of that, I feel a need to own a boat to be able to use that to launch my boat into the water. You guys cool with that logic? <laughs> the video that I'm making today uh, is one that I could have made several times over since we've been here. Um, with simply having the caption or the subject matter of I could be making this video 40 years ago and it would look exactly like this. I may have made that comment, actually, when Gracie and I were walking through World's End, which is that, <laughs> way out there. That's Button Island. You can't really sort of, I mean, I know this is, you know, it's obviously this is a 2D camera taking in 3D, so. Potentially you can't really see the, the, the distinction of that island versus uh, World's End that's behind it and then Langley Island that's up that over there, but. Anyway, just a quick check-in. I don't know when this will end up getting up there. I know I've got way more video on my camera and on my hard drive than I've uploaded lately, so. But, with that, it's Mike's and Gracie from livemyassoff.com saying, I hope you're living the dream, because if you're not living the dream, then there's a high likelihood that you have never vacationed in New England, specifically on the south shore of Boston. And uh, if you do, that will change your life for the better. I can almost guarantee it. Talk to you guys soon. Ciao.